Hey guys, it's Green Zephyr. Today I'm going to be reviewing Blue and Beta Velociraptor Capture from LEGO Jurassic World Dominion. So we'll start off with the minifigures. So here we have Macy, um, which, give me a second. Okay, which is annoying because um, what I've noticed is um, this year, especially with the Jurassic World Legos, or at least so far in the beginning of the release, they have done a really crappy job with printing on the pieces. Like, if you look here, um, the lips, the m black part, which is the, um, where the mouth would open, is too high up compared to where the lips are printed. And on the back side... The teeth are extremely messed up, and same with the lips there. On the front side, even the eyes you can see are a little bit messed up with printing, um, which is annoying. And, of course, the Giganotosaurus for me was the same way, where it um, had all the scars were printed horribly on there, and um, the legs were loose, and the head was loose, and it just doesn't even feel like a Lego dinosaur. It seems more like a um, replica, like a off-brand Lego. Um, the Giganotosaurus just, yeah, it didn't seem like real Lego because of the way it, it was made for me. I don't know if everyone's is like that, but mine doesn't even seem like real Lego. Uh, here we have Rain Delacourt. So, um, he has a gun with a tranquilizer dart this is a different outfit from the other two sets he's in um he has a uh, red and blue um, shirt kind of going on the other one was kind of like spotted white green and um, blue and he's got the snake tattoo on his face then we have beta so um this is blue's baby um, and what's interesting is if you notice both sides of beta on the head have different um, printing. So yeah, on one side, the stripe goes behind the eye and on the other, it goes over the eye and in front of it. And it's the same way for blue where on one side of the face it stops behind the eye, then on the other it goes over the eye and in front of it. And once again you can see the error of printing with the eye being too far forward on my orange and um, tan Atrociraptor, both the eyes are too far forward, and on the white one, they're in the right spot. So if you compare both of them at once, it's really awkward looking. Um, and it is so annoying how crappy they've been with um, the construction of these sets with the printing going on. Like, they, they were so rushed in getting them out. Um, on time that they just screwed over printing and then they still haven't gotten them out on time because they're still not available at Walmart or Target near me and when I ordered them online they came from Florida and Georgia instead of um, Kansas where I'm from like they just are screwing over the entire thing um, but anyway I do love how blue has um, the gray body instead of teal and brown or um, teal and dark green this one's the most accurate um, so I love this a lot with the um, uh, gray color and then the stripe. And I also think it's really cool how they did um, the asymmetricality of it. So that's cool. Um, and also, we have an issue going on where um, uh, on eBay, the poly bag that is um, uh, supposed to be around 5 bucks for sale, um, it's being sold for like 8 everywhere. But anyway, so this guy, um, he's a scalper. He really had the audacity to buy thousands and thousands of the poly bag and then selling 100 at a time for $700 each. Well, like 700 for 100. Um, so $700 for 100 poly bags. You just got to clarify that. Um, anyway, so he is selling um, 
and he has thousands of them in his possession. So this is like the literal definition of scalping. First of all, no one even needs a hundred of them, so I don't know why you're selling a hundred at a time. And second of all, you're wasting money because if that's like two hundred extra dollars that you would have spent on those that you could have not spent if you just bought a hundred at a time um, from Walmart or something. But that is a hundred percent BS. That person literally bought them from everywhere, and that is the reason that those things go up in price. In 2018, I couldn't get the poly bag for four bucks because um, so many people bought out of the set that it just like now it was like eight bucks by the time i had to buy it um and now it's worth like 16 to 20 and it's just because of people like that and they are really like scummy people um people who do that are horrible um but anyway we have a bike here which seems too much like a motorcycle because of like size and everything um but it's meant to be a bike i'm pretty sure anyway then we have a ramp. So this is like a little um, uh, piece of like tree or whatever and stuff, um, some leaves, and it's a ramp for the um, bike. The only problem is you have to like hold down on this right here because um, otherwise like it just slides when you're trying to um, drive on it. So it's honestly a crappy design because you have to hold it down with one finger and with the other finger go like this and then like drive over it. Um, but whatever. Then we have the cage um, for um, Beta to go into. So it has a little chain um, that attaches onto the top um, that goes across and it makes it so it doesn't open except on these parts. But anyway, so this folds open um, and down. And then here's the trap when it's completely open. It has this uh, chicken leg in there um, for them to eat. Um, and some plants on the outside but then you can stick beta um, right there and then fold up the cage and then take the um, Take the chain and fold over the other side like that. And then beta is in the cage. Um, then we have the truck. So this can load into the back of the truck and it doesn't fit in there perfectly, but it's, um, it's okay at fitting in there. It's, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, it certainly moves around a lot. It doesn't, as you can see, it's not meant to fit in here very well at all, which is bad design. Um, but it just, yeah, kind of sits in there, but not that good at all, but whatever. Um, anyway, it's a nice truck. It's, um, white and red. I really like the, um, the red, like it's, it's pretty cool. This set came with zero stickers. There's no stickers at all. No license plate sticker, nothing on the front. There were no stickers in the set. Um, which I do find interesting. Then it has the um, mirrors on the side, which of course aren't actual mirrors in the Lego set. Um, underside. This was a really weird build, as you can see. Um, it has like circular pieces in there, and it has like four of those, I think, plus some smaller ones in there. And it's just a really awkward build. Like you can see another one there. And I don't see why those were necessary for the set, but they decided that was what they wanted to go with. Um, anyway, so then the top of it comes off and then it has a steering wheel and then the seat. And so you can fit a person in there. Uh, I'm not going to sit them down all the way, but yeah, you can fit a person in there and then put the top of the um, truck back on. And then you can fit beta in the back. And there we go. Oops. Um, this is a really cool set, but yeah, I do have problems with the printing. Um, cause the, on all the sets I've gotten, I don't think I've had a single set that wasn't like screwed over with printing. Even one of my T-Rexes, um, one of the eyes was like off, kind of like Blue's eye here. Um, but I mean, it's fine. It's just slightly disappointing, but like, yeah, 
I just feel they could have done a better job with it, and they did not. But yeah, um, the dual-sided um, asymmetry is actually really cool, I think. Because, um, yeah, I was seeing it on the box, and it was actually pretty, like, um, uh, awkward, because I, like, I see the head here, and then here, and I didn't even um, pay attention um, there. So when I actually take it out of the... Um, uh, little package that the dinosaur comes in and I saw the head was different on both sides I was so confused I thought that they um misprinted it again because I've had one in the past that was misprinted on one side um and it wasn't supposed to be uh so Lego sent me a new one but like um I was worried for a second that that's how it was but I look at the box and then I notice that yeah it's supposed to be like that uh, even like up here that side and then there but yeah but anyway this is a really awesome set i'm i was really excited for this one since they made blue gray um that's all i've been asking for for a while now is a gray blue um the only other thing they didn't give us was um rexy with scars which was disappointing that they didn't decide to do that because that would have been really awesome as well um but we still got a lot of Lego sets this year. We got 10 so far. So, well, I think 11 counting the poly bag. So that's actually um, pretty good. Um, so I'm happy with this year's sets. I got um, 6 out of 11 so far um, counting the poly bag. I, so I don't have that one, but 11. Um, and I'm getting 2 more next Wednesday. And then I'll have 8 out of 11. And then I'll get the Pteranodon set soon. And then, yeah, that, we'll go from there. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Um, please consider subscribing, and I will see you next time.